the seminar. It's the additional managing director NAFED. Mr. Sunil, Sunil Kumar, Kumar Singh, Singh is additional managing director of NAFED, an autonomous national cooperative marketing federation under the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare, Government of India, responsible for the procurement of pulses and oil seeds at minimum support price, as well as management of national buffer stock of pulses under the Department of Consumer Affairs, Government of India. With over 20 years of extensive experience of the commodity market, particularly pulses, he is actively associated in the formulation of Government of India schemes in procurement, storage and distribution of pulses. His initiatives conceptualized the maiden creation of buffer stocking of pulses and distribution of pulses at affordable prices in the welfare schemes of the Government of India as well as state governments for the benefit of targeted consumers. Additional Managing Director National Agricultural Cooperative Marketing Federation of India, NAFID, Sunil Kumar Singh. I greet everybody on World Pulse Day. Last year, NAFID had the privilege of hosting the event at New Delhi in association with GPC. And what a difficult and nostalgic year it has been since uh, holding of the event last year when we had the COVID crisis just following up the event. And on 26th of March, 2020, Government of India announcing the Pradhan Mandri Garib Kalyan an Yojana, where for the first time pulses were provided free along with the food grains to National Food Security Act beneficiaries. And we were called upon to process the pulses on an emergency basis and take it to far and wide places across India to serve around 19.595 crore families. Later on, this scheme was extended and along with the food grains, one kg of gram whole was to, to be distributed to the beneficiaries. Along with this distribution, we had the task of the procurement of Rabi Pulses 2, where we made record procurements of 21.18 lakh metric tons of gram along with other commodities, followed by the Kharif procurement. So the year 2020-21 has been quite a remarkable year for NAFED to prove its metal, to organize the procurement in an efficient manner as well process and distribute the pulses at a record level, the first time in India, and to say that it has been the most mammoth task ever had in the entire pulse history of the world would be no exaggeration. IPGA, has requested me to speak on the role of NAFED in the procurement and distribution of pulses, particularly in these five years, as well the road ahead for the pulse and the role of NAFED, which should be there in the future. Before I speak on that, I must compliment the management of uh, IPGA 
for having organized such a wonderful program with speakers of eminence and attendees all across all across the globe now if we speak of these five years the pulse production consumption management of pulses including the milling retailing has really gone for change in in india from a production level of 16.5 million metric tons we did achieve the production level of 25.20 million metric ton in 2018 and it was all a sp stupendous work of indian farmers who rose to the occasion and added so much of volume to the pulse production besides the indian farmers the complement goes to government of india for laying various policy guidelines financially supporting nafit to undertake these activities then clarity was brought in the guidelines more and more states they were involved the cooperative societies and the fpos they were involved from a meager level of procurement of 9 lakh metric tons in the previous 5 years prior to 2015-16 the procurement went to the level of 109 lakh metric tons in these last 5 years you will be surprised to know if i just reel out the procurement made by nafed in these 5 years uh the government of india from a level of government guarantee of 269 crore it provided us government guarantee of 40000 crores along with the fund for the buffer which was there for 11000 crore and these financial enablers they provided us the opportunity to organize the procurement at this level from the farmers with a prompt payment and that to 90 days of the harvest during these years uh when we procured 109 million metric tons gram was to the tune of 5.7 million metric ton tour we procured 3.01 million metric ton urad we procured 0.88 million metric ton masur we procured 0.33 million metric ton and moon was to the tune of 1.02 million metric ton the efficiency of the procurement system has been proven in these years when we engage our state cooperative federations who in turn engage the primary cooperative procurement societies to operate at the mandi level and even at the farm gate you may have heard mr yogesh thorat is speaking on the efficient association which we had with the fpos where we, we opened our procurement centers at farm gate which enabled the farmers to offer their stock at the farm gate itself reducing their expenses of bringing the stock from their farm to the mandi and then again facing the uncertainty of procurement on quality and other 
factors. This kind of a record procurement by NAFID, along with other agencies, though other agencies had limited role, that was of the FCI and SFAC. It really blasted the confidence of the farmers in the procurement system of pulses and oil seeds too. Before these five years, the main focus used to be on paddy and wheat, but now things have changed. We hope that in the coming years, the kind of progress which we made from 2015-16 to 2020-21 would again be replicated to take the production level to at least 30 million metric tons in coming days. On the distribution front, may I inform you that a lot many policy changes have taken place. During the years of 2017, 18 and 18, 19, when we had the surplus stock, some schemes like release of discounted pulses scheme to the states, then supplies through MDM, ICDS, supplies to army, paramilitary forces, and encouraged by the availability of pulses with NAFED, or I would say in the central buffer system, as well as PSS, many of the states have now started distributing pulses in their PDS system. In the PMJKY, we had taken a special initiative of distribution of gram hole, which again has added a, a special sector of consumption, which again does not require milling and appropriate for poor people on account of its richness of protein and iron. So I hope that with these initiatives of government of India, the affordability of pulses shall not be issued. The consumption would increase and the increased consumption along with the procurement would encourage the farmers to grow more. And then again, encourage the consumers to eat more. The beauty the, uh, and the richness of consumption of pulses have been very well explained by GPC president in her address, which holds good for the entire universe, not only to India. In coming days, NAFID would like to add to its might, increase more number of procurement centers. It will engage with more FPOs and cooperative societies for encouraging the farmers to grow more and then again assure them the procurement as may be directed from time to time by government of India. With these words, time is short. I thank IPGA for having organized this event and invited me for this program. Thank you so much.